ever wondered if the minuscule atom shares any similarities with the colossal universe? It's fascinating to ponder, isn't it? The atom, the fundamental building block of matter, is an intricate system of protons, electrons and neutrons. Protons and neutrons form the nucleus, the atom's heart, while electrons whirl around in a cloud-like formation. It's a microcosm of dynamic energy, a tiny universe within itself. Now let's shift our gaze from the infinitesimal to the infinite. The observable universe, a sprawling cosmos of galaxies, stars and celestial bodies. It's a vast, mysterious expanse that has intrigued scientists for centuries. Its sheer scale is mind-boggling. What if we told you there's a connection between these two disparate realms? That the architecture of the atom mirrors the architecture of the universe? Intrigued? You should be. Buckle up as we journey from the microcosm of the atom to the macrocosm of the universe. The atom, though tiny, has a universe of its own. Imagine, if you will, a miniature cosmos contained within the smallest unit of matter. At its heart lies the nucleus, a dense core composed of protons and neutrons. Orbiting this nucleus in a dizzying dance are electrons, much like planets circling their stars in the vast expanse of space. This isn't just a poetic comparison, but a fundamental similarity that echoes across the cosmos. Now let's delve deeper into the realm of quantum science, the study of the very small, where the rules of classical physics cease to apply. Here, particles like electrons don't simply orbit the nucleus in neat, predictable paths. Instead, they exist in a cloud of probabilities, a haze of potential locations. They can be here, there, everywhere, or nowhere, until we try to measure them. Sounds strange, doesn't it? Welcome to the world of quantum mechanics, where nothing is as it seems. This quantum behavior, bizarre as it may be, doesn't just apply to atoms. It's mirrored in the grand architecture of the universe itself. Black holes, for instance, are regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Yet, they're not merely cosmic vacuum cleaners. According to quantum theory, black holes can also emit particles, a phenomenon known as Hawking radiation. And what about antimatter, the mirror image of regular matter? For every particle, there's an antiparticle with the same mass but opposite charge. When the two meet, they annihilate each other in a burst of energy. This matter-antimatter symmetry exists on both the atomic and cosmic scales, further linking the smallest and largest structures of the universe. Just like the universe, there's more to the atom than meets the eye. It's not just a tiny speck of matter, but a microcosm of the cosmos, a testament to the beautiful complexity and interconnectedness of our universe. So the next time you marvel at the night sky, remember that a universe of wonders lies within every atom, waiting to be discovered. The universe, a grand spectacle, holds secrets that mirror the atom. Let's delve into the cosmos, a vast expanse of space and time. At the heart of it are black holes, strange and mysterious entities. Much like the nucleus of an atom, black holes are incredibly dense and exert a powerful gravitational pull. Around them, stars, both small and gargantuan, twinkle and burst in a display of cosmic energy, reminiscent of the energetic dance of electrons orbiting an atom's nucleus. Next, let's consider the enigmatic antimatter. In the atomic world, antimatter is the exact opposite of normal matter, with particles that have an opposite charge. Similarly, in the universe we see a balance of forces, a delicate dance of opposites, much like matter and antimatter. Now let's touch on dark matter. It's a substance that we cannot see, yet we know it's there because of the gravitational effects it has on galaxies. Much like the mysterious force that holds protons and neutrons together in an atomic nucleus. And what about gravity and magnetic fields? These forces govern the movement of celestial bodies and shape the very structure of the universe. Similarly, in the realm of the atom, forces such as electromagnetic interactions dictate the behavior of particles, guiding their paths and influencing their behaviors. So you see, the universe, in all its vastness, is a reflection of the minuscule atom. Both are intricate systems, guided by forces and laws that create balance and harmony. Both are filled with energy, mystery, and a sense of awe-inspiring wonder. Both are realms where the seen and unseen dance together, painting a picture of incredible complexity and beauty. Despite their drastic differences in scale, the universe and the atom share striking similarities. 
Their structures, behaviors, and governing laws mirror each other, suggesting that the macrocosm and the microcosm are interconnected parts of a grand cosmic dance. The universe and the atom, despite their size difference, seem to dance to the same tune. Ever wondered how time behaves in space? The answer lies in the concepts of light speed and time dilation. Let's start with light speed. It's the cosmic speed limit, clocking in at a whopping 186,282 miles per second. Nothing in the universe can travel faster than this. It's a concept that's deeply woven into the fabric of our universe, much like the behavior of atoms. Now, how does this tie into time dilation? Well, according to Einstein's theory of relativity, as an object moves closer to the speed of light, time for that object slows down. This is known as time dilation. It's a mind-boggling concept that suggests if you were to travel at near light speed, time would move slower for you than for someone stationary. This is where the universe's architecture comes into play. Gravity and magnetic fields, both intrinsic properties of the universe, influence light speed and time dilation. The stronger the gravity or magnetic field, the slower time passes. This is eerily similar to the behavior of atoms, where the presence of charged particles like protons and electrons influences the atom's behavior. Take a black hole, for instance. Its gravity is so strong that it bends space and slows down time to a crawl. If you were to orbit a black hole at a safe distance, time for you would move slower than for someone far away from it. This is time dilation in action, influenced by the gravity of a cosmic entity. The implications of these concepts on space travel are profound. If we could harness the power of gravity or magnetic fields, then theoretically we could manipulate time. This opens up thrilling possibilities for future space travel, including the potential for time travel. In both the atomic and cosmic realms, time and space are intertwined. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe, we find that the principles governing the smallest particles and the most massive cosmic entities are remarkably similar. It's a testament to the beautiful symmetry of our universe. What if we could use these similarities for future space travel? Imagine a world where the vastness of space is as easily traversed as the distance between your home and the local grocery store. This is not just the stuff of science fiction, but a plausible future scenario, thanks to theories like magnetic repulsion and wormholes. Magnetic repulsion, for instance, is a principle that we often experience in our daily lives. You've likely felt it when trying to push together the same poles of two magnets. Now take this concept and apply it on a cosmic scale. Imagine harnessing the repulsive force between magnets to propel spacecrafts across the cosmos. It's like a cosmic game of billiards, with planets and stars acting as the balls and magnetic fields as the invisible cues. On the other hand, wormholes offer a completely different approach. They are theoretical tunnels or shortcuts through the fabric of space-time, a concept that originates from Einstein's theory of relativity. If they exist, and if we could find a way to navigate them safely, we could potentially reach distant corners of the universe in a fraction of the time it would take with conventional space travel. But for these theories to move from the realm of the theoretical to the practical, we need a better understanding of both atomic and cosmic structures. Just as the architecture of the atom has given us a glimpse into the fundamental building blocks of matter, so too could the architecture of the universe reveal new pathways for exploration and travel. The future of space travel is an exciting frontier, a blend of science, imagination, and the irresistible human urge to explore. It's an adventure that starts with the smallest particles known to man and stretches out to the furthest reaches of our universe. From atom to universe, the possibilities are limitless. We've journeyed from the atom to the universe, unearthing intriguing similarities. We've delved deep into the heart of the atom, exploring its intricate architecture and found that it mirrors the grand design of the cosmos. The protons and electrons spinning in their orbital dance echoing the celestial waltz of stars and planets in the universe. We've uncovered the enigma of holes, antimatter and dark matter and how they play their parts in this cosmic ballet. We've also sprinted alongside light, experiencing time dilation, a concept that bends our understanding of reality. Looking ahead, we've envisioned a future where mankind harnesses the immense power of gravity, magnetic repulsion and electromagnetic fields. A future where we could potentially traverse the vast expanses of space using wormholes, transforming the way we perceive travel. 
In the grand tapestry of existence, the atom and the universe are interconnected, each a reflection of the other. We are MindArt100. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for future notifications.